they have actually taught a moon, have I? No, maybe. Don't be really I get this thing about teaching moon. How many moons do you teach? Back in the day, like back in the day, like in the 90s, like I'm not that old, but I started this relatively early. And again, and Henry would be the first one to tell you this about Brazilian culture or the generation before him. Very stingy about teaching Americans or promoting them. You know, like, someone who teaches this language, the teacher who speaks this language from this country will steal your students. That's sort of the prevailing thing. Was, was. Now there's obviously, we're blessed to be with people who don't think that way and who share, you know, more than anybody that I've, I've ever known. But basically you had this thing where they would either under-teach or over-teach, right? They would either show you a move without enough detail or they'd throw 30 moves at you for a seminar because you're not going to get or You're not even, even, right? So again, with one of my coaches was like, yeah, but he was smarter. He was like, oh, I gained it. You know, so so and so, Minotaur, whoever, you know, you know and uh, someone that level, three moves, right? Thirty moves from half guard. Just, but then I realized three of those moves were when you shrimped out to the left. No, fifteen were when you shrimped out to the left. And fifteen were when you shrimped out to the right. So I went back to my place and taught all my guys. I'm just gonna drill shrimping out to the left and shrimping out to the right. I and mean, then you're gonna figure out, but you will, you'll figure out those moves. You know, so it's, it's like honing in on what's, again, fundamentals, what's most important. You know, getting into a strong position, posture, and then pressure. Do I shrink left, do I shrink right, this, 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 that. And so, when you guys are like looking at, and right now you're at the phase, especially if most of you are blue belts, you're at the stage where new information matters, right? I think once you hit purple or brown, you've probably seen most of the high percentage of things that are ever going to work. So it's not about new material, it's about, you know, it's about just stripping away at the unessentials. Like, there's a blue sweet quote like that. It's about try trying to find like the gold nugget inside what you already know. That's what um, one of my coaches said about Hickson. Went to a Hickson. Every time, he goes, every time I've seen Hickson teach, he said, I've, I've known everything he was showing. He didn't show anything new, but I always learned something new about it. You know, then that to him is gold, and then that always stuck stuck to me. If someone can show me how to open the guard, I know how to open the guard. You know, but if, if they can show me how to open the guard, and then there's something there, I'm like, oh, I didn't realize. Even to this day, that's and that's what I mean by I've learned more of the black belt than I have before. And now I can have the values. I can see what's actually more important than you know quantity, right? Again, I'm not down in quantity because right now accumulation of knowledge is going to make the difference. But at, at, but you guys are living in an era now, you know, where, you know, I used to have to go into Chinatown and find the Kung Fu story downstairs that told the Valley Tudo VHS instructional that was like one in the whole entire New York City. And now my students can get on YouTube and find that same 12 series VHS on, on a thing and watch it on their phone. You know, so now information isn't the problem. Like there's load, there's GU, there's everything. So now it's more or less in terms of your own development, like honing in on what's most important. Right? And then after that seminar I told you guys about with the posture, that's how, and I did a lot of nogi back then, that's how I understood who was, who was good. I can tell just by that what belt level they are. But I'll just put it back in. You know, just, it's just how well they do the fundamentals that really, not how much they know, but how well they know and can articulate uh, what they're doing. Cool. So open guard now, anything in regards to closed guard, opening, now we're going to move on just a bit, right? So the next step here. I want to start like this. Who's familiar with De La Hiva guard? You know? Some of you are, so we'll work to it because it's, it's, it's a progression, right? So the very first sort of open guard you see positioning-wise is just here. And this is important because in terms of fighting, I can't reach him. He's got his biggest weapons ready to go. I can't be any further away than this. So those principles still relate. Everything you've taught in combatives still relate. You just have to know how to look at it. Okay? So what I want to do is like, uh, you know, my buddies, is like, and I still need this. Like if this was war, you know, these are his archers, these are his infantrymen, and that's the castle. You got to get to the hips, right? So what I want you guys to do is a drill, and then this will actually lead to Delahiva, and then you'll understand how these positions evolve out of necessity, right? I need to get past this people. Now I'm ready to go, and now everything to do is right? It's how well you do the first part, or how well you understand that part, right? So let's do this as a drill. So I need to get past his feet. It, Pedro Sauer thing is 
He's got a brand new gi, he's got dirty feet, no footprints. If you just keep that, that's all I come Get his feet off, get his feet off. You'll be fine. Okay? From here, a little swim right into this position. Now from here, rock, rock, rock. keep some good tension here. It's tough. Let's disconnect for a second. All right, step over. Here, you sit. I'm not up here where you can pick me up. Yeah. Sit a bit. The key helps. If it's there, I'll take it. Right? And from here, a little shuffle to the side. And we can all slide nice and easy. Whether I hold, underhook, head here, head here, grab here. Not what's important. That, that'll be preference later, right? But what is important is if you're taught a move. Oh, knee slide. I see this one. I see guys diving. He's like, no, that's not what you need to know. You need to understand you're no longer. Now you're a threat. Knee slide. Okay, cool. So this first one, I'm swimming in. I'm bring it slightly off the ground. Attack the body where it bends. Notice I'm out at a 45. Come here, it's not the same. Maybe, or swim to the back. Right back, right? Here. Pressure. Now I have his hip. Okay, and we'll, we'll get into this in a second. Here, he's putting tension. Can't just do that. I'm not pushing it. I hold it in place, I disconnect, and I step over it. I anchor myself in, and now just a little side shuffle. I'm ready to go. And however you've been taught to do this, it's correct. So here's the bad guy. Sappy on the hips, 45 degrees, stage four. Basically starting with stage four. He's gonna swim one in. Or that perfect. Get my hips off the ground, he does it. If he moves back two, three inches, eh, about the same. Look forward, flat foot, step in a little closer. There we go. That's it. All right? Hold on to that ankle. Oh, nice anchors. There you go, a little side shuffle. Move an angle. Whoa. He's gonna get it. Okay, that's that's 95% of what we'll decide if your pass will work. Right? You can have the best horses and infantry men, it's very good for us. Right? But if they get if the other side's archers kill them, they don't matter. Right? You can have the best axe for knocking down the castle gate, but it doesn't matter. That's that's someone with a great pass who can't get past the feet. And I'm sure that's something we're all like we've all felt, especially at like Blue Bell Purple or Top. Okay, so it's more about maneuvering yourself into the right spot. Everything works, you just have to be in the right spot to work. Does that make sense? You guys need to see it again? Start with this. Oh, one more. One more. So here I'll start stage four essentially, right? And here I'm just going to check the knees. And notice how I'm starting to drop just a bit. Here, nice and low. Check. All of this you can check. See, if I'm up here, it's up to him to tell me, oh, can you do it again? Oh, it's all. Now, a little shuffle. Here, in case that was up, just keep that there. And now, any way you want to finish, under hook, and down. Usually, it's good practice to eat up the space right away and slide. Nice and close. Nothing else. All right, let's try that.